Welcome. This has been Buster Wyatt. By watch review budget bin movies for you. Today's f movie, all I gotta say is it's so hot, it's smoking. Somebody better stop me. Because it's other than that Jim Carrey classic, The Mask. And as always, I'm gonna give you my thoughts, my ratings on this movie. The, in fact, this is Jim Carrey at the height of his comedy career. I'm talking Ace Ventura, Dumb and Dumber, The Mask, Cable Guy are some of my favorite comedies of Jim Carrey's. This, by far, is one of his best comedic performances. It's a story about a guy named Stanley Ipkiss, a mild manner bank teller who finds this mask. And this mask is an ancient secret that whoever wears it becomes this character right here. Becomes this mask guy. It kind of takes him over as a mind of its own. His dog and even the villain get to wear this mask at times in this movie. So he puts it on. He becomes this mask and he's a large life character. He goes into this mobster's like club. Starts ransacking the place. Starts terrifying it. And so the cops think he's a villain. So they're after him. They find out it's Stanley Ipkiss. And they arrest Stanley. Only because the bad guy now has the mask. Puts it on and... Oh, he's there. And then... Throughout that, he starts taking over. So Stanley has to come in with the cops to try and save him. And then he ends up... <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. The Dorian's mask gets off. It goes into the air. Max, the dog, puts it on. And he gets it. Oh, and he goes crazy. He's like a cartoon but dog with a big mouth. Oh, yeah, that happens. And with this, Stanley rips off his dog, places it on for one last battle as the mask. Before, at the end of the movie, he throws it into there, and his buddy goes in to retrieve the mask after it, and Milo, his dog, goes in there, goes after it, and ah, swims it and grabs the mask. And that's where the movie ends. Like I said, this is Jim Carrey at his finest. And not only that, this is the first movie acting job of Cameron Diaz. That's right, Cameron Diaz herself. Got her debut in this movie. You could thank Jim Carrey for starting her career. But this is like a Saturday morning cartoon come to life, this movie. That's why I was so enamored by it when it was out. When was this? Uh, 2019... 95? 95? Yeah. 1995. I was enamored of this as a kid because I, it was a Saturday morning, like I said, a Saturday morning cartoon coming to life. I enjoyed it so much that I'm like, the Zoot Suit made it. I've been trying to find a yellow Zoot Suit for years. I just can't find one in my size. But I mean, if you look at the back right here, you see how his heart's out. He becomes a coyote who's who howls all the time in Looney Tunes commercials, you know, in Looney Tunes shows. And his son comes over, like... And he becomes a Kogo Bongo guy and goes, la 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 la, dances, come and Miranda style, and with a fruit and a wine shirt. Just Jim Carrey at his absolute best. I can't tell you all the gags here. You have to watch it for yourself. If you haven't seen this movie, find it on streaming. Find it physically if you're into that sort of thing, collecting physical media. If you're into that sort of thing, find it. Watch this movie. You're going to have a very, very good time. Like I said, this is one of Jim Carrey's best. You know what I'm going to give this movie? I'm going to give it a rousing four stars. Yeah, that's right, because as you can see here, I'll show you the inside a little bit more. He has a little, little horn that goes, Aruga, Aruga, and there's his, him with his dog. There's him dancing with Cameron Diaz. And then the hard thing from the back of the box. But yeah, the mask. It, even though it's PG-13, I would not recommend it for Kit. I would recommend this movie for kids, but I will not recommend the source material for kids. Because this is a comic book movie. The source material is so dark and gruesome that I'm shocked that they even made this, even greenlit this movie the way they did. That's probably why they picked Jim Carrey and made it zany over the top comedy, was because the source material is so dark. You think Deadpool is dark? You think Punisher comics at times are dark? You think Dark Horse and Vertigo and Image are dark? comics and you can graphic novels stuff like that look at some of this stuff blood in almost every panel 
He's he goes out there. He attacks people. It's not just Stanley in the mask. It's different people at different times. The mask has a mind of its own. It's kind of like <clears throat> he puts it on like this. It goes oh, 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 smoking. Yeah. This movie, if you want to watch it for its face value, is a great comedy. Go for it. It's worth a buy. If you are a avid comic book fan and want to purchase this and want to watch it because you're a comic book fan and you like it based off the source material, you're not going to like that. But I give it, a, like I said, I gave it four stars because this is Jim Carrey at one of his comic performances of his lifetime. And as always, you're looking for a smoking good time. Make it a movie night. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.